What's up you guys? Good morning and welcome to El Nido. We've been here for a couple of days, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been out of commission. I think we've been doing so much swimming. The water's been a little chilly and my asthma just hasn't agreed with it. So the last two days I've been down bad. I've been in the room, in the bed, coughing and sweating. But we're gonna get out, I feel a lot better. We're gonna get out and hit some beaches and do a, like a land tour? A land tour, yeah. Yep. We're gonna go to Nakhwan Beach, then Leo Beach, and then maybe Las Cabanas Beach as well. So that's the plan for today. I don't know if I'll get in the water or you know do anything too crazy. We'll see how I feel when I get there. But it's gonna be a very exciting day, you guys. Let's go, I'm excited. That's what we about to get in. I feel kind of like the Flintstones. How should I get in here, babe? Alright you guys, we made it to our first stop, Nakpan Beach. I couldn't say anything on the ride here because the motorcycle was way too loud. But I probably would have been like that little kid screaming in church. But the, um, the ride here, you need like expert level driving skills to make it. So just keep that in mind if you plan on coming to this beach by yourself. Yeah, if you were to ride in a like a moped or like a scooter by yourself there's like gravel roads <laughs> slash potholes in like sandy rocky roads like it was weird to explain it but the dips are really deep and you can't see it till it's right in front of you so yeah. so just be careful if you come here by yourself <laughs> all right you guys we got ourselves a water and look at the view man this is a nice beach there's not that many people too so walking like a uh, half a mile down the beach you get to Angkla Beach Club I think it's called and it's like a thousand pesos a person to get in but that includes the money that you spend on food and drinks and stuff like that um, and you get to use their pool you get a seat you can use the beach they have bean bags out here this is my first time coming here so it's really really nice though so here at the beach club later on during the day um, they have a DJ that comes out and then they do offer like a little bit of security for your things as well so you get to hang out in the restaurant as Josh said you can use their facilities of course except go inside the actual resort but it's a pretty cool deal uh, 20 bucks for you to be able to use which use for food and then they give you this sticker so you can be here the whole day so starting from 10 a.m. all the way to almost like sunset so not bad
Yeah. I like it. It's, it's good. not dry. I definitely need some of that pineapple juice. So if you come here and you like mimosas like we do, just know they don't know what a mimosa is. So you can try to do it yourself and like get the champagne and order orange juice with no ice. They only have pineapple juice, but you see how it came out. So. It's fresh squeeze. Fresh squeeze, yeah. So they had pineapple juice, watermelon juice, and mango juice. Um, I'm guessing they don't have the squeezer for uh, the orange, so they didn't offer it. You kind of, you kind of just gotta thug it out. You see? Good? It's good pineapple juice, yeah. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> so it's crazy. We we're sitting here drinking our homemade mimosas. And these people were walking by and they looked like they were riding dirt bikes, which her cousin rides dirt bikes all the time. So she's like, that's just like my cousin. And then one of them walks past and she's like, oh, look, that's Tom. And I guess that's her cousin's roommate, our best friend. Yeah. And it's just a small world. We're just sitting at this beach bar and somebody mm -hmm. that she knows walked past. Yeah, I explained to Josh that him and his crew is dirt bike crew or whatever used to come here right after their events and then they would just hang out here at Aqua Beach Club and then now they're all here as a big group so shout out to Jet Boy, shout out to Tom <laughs> I ordered some soup so after we eat the soup we'll go to the beach to show you guys the water thank you well, I'm finna tear this soup off thank you so much it's weird, before before we came to the Philippines, I'm like, here in the Philippines, why would you eat soup? Like, it's so and hot. And it's so hot outside. Yeah, and now, I've ordered soup for like the past four days in a row, so. <laughs> He's had I, tinola, sinigang, bulalo, yeah. like all the staple soup dishes he's had by the beach while it's like 90 degrees and humid outside. Now, it's because my asthma, but it has come in clutch. So. No, he's just now Filipino. <laughs> so guys, we just ate here at Ankla Beach Club. So now we're heading out to the beach, take a few pictures, and enjoy the waves. guys so I'm not getting in the water just because I don't want my asthma to flare up anymore but the water feels pretty good I'm, I'm contemplating getting in the water but it's a little chilly yeah, but the water's good. beautiful she got in the water and I took some pictures of her so I don't know if I'm gonna get in the water oh, look at the dog yay.
All right, you guys, we made it to our next beach, which is Leo Beach. Now, April's been bragging about this beach a lot, so I'm excited to see. And we're supposed to meet up with her cousin here too, so we should meet up with him and his girlfriend and her mom. Yep. Yep, right. so we should meet them here in a second. If you're ever here, definitely check this spot out. So compared to the other beach, I noticed that it's a lot more crowded and there's not as many places to sit. But April tells me that this beach is where you catch the nicest sunsets. So maybe we can stick around until sunset. And you can tell too after the sun sets, there's a whole bunch of restaurants right behind us. You can have um, dinner for the day. That's what I'm talking about. Probably. Sunset and a meal. been here at Leo Beach for a couple of hours now and the sun is starting to set. Remember I told you guys that uh, April was bragging on the sunset? I definitely see why now. I'm telling you, it's the best sunset here in Yeah, LA. it's very pretty from Leo Beach. April was telling me that a lot of the times during the sunset, the sun will actually set in between, let me see if I can get my, these two points. And it'll, like, the whole thing will be yellow, all the water will be like, the same color as the sky, and it's very pretty sun. Apparently the same even as pretty as it is, but it's a very pretty sun. All right, you guys, we had a great day today. We went to two different beaches. We saw a beautiful sunset. It's time for us to get back to our room. We're gonna take that little motorcycle that we took earlier back to the room and get us some showers. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment of something you'd like to see in the future. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And then for daily updates, please don't forget to follow us on social media. Thank you guys, bye.